Welcome to Driveway Garage. Sorry for the bad lighting, but that's life outdoors, I guess. I'm just going to do a quick video on chainsaw adjustment on the carburetor. I learned something today, and I thought I knew everything. So this is my chainsaw I'm trying to sell, and I just could not get it to idle. I messed and messed and messed with the low speed, the high speed. It ran great, but as soon as you let go of the trigger, it would die. So I watched the video. It was a really good video made four years ago by a guy that works on chainsaws. And I learned that not only do you have your L for low speed adjustment and your H for high speed adjustment, there's one there that says T. There's a Phillips screw down in there. And you adjust that, and that is for your idle. Maybe, well, it says T, not I. But I just messed around with the wrong stuff. Now, to adjust this pulling, you have to have this special screwdriver. If I can get it to adjust. It's got little tiny grooves in the center. And there's a little notch. Oh, I just can't quite get it focused. But it's a special little screwdriver. But the, the idle screw is just a Phillips. So I pushed, I uh, screwed the idle screw in all the way. Then I backed it out a little bit, like maybe a turn. And started the chainsaw up. And it started right up. And it idled just fine. Now, I can't, I can't remember the name of the guy that did the video, but it's really good. You should watch it. Or at least Google for carburetor adjustment or uh, YouTube it. But uh, according to what he said, you want to back out your, once you get your chainsaw warmed up after a minute, back this out and then back in until you get right to the sweet spot where before the RPM start going down. Now your high speed, I never knew this, the further you turn that screw out, the higher your chainsaw will rev until you can possibly damage your chainsaw because it's turning too fast. So they have a tool you can buy so you can set the RPMs to what the factory recommends. Let's say it's, you know, 4,000 RPMs. You don't want it running at six. You'll ruin your motor. That's something I didn't know. And the idle, that is strictly for when you let off the throttle, the chainsaw will idle. And you don't want it idling so fast that the chain is moving, but you don't want it to slow down so much that the chainsaw dies. And now that I know where there's an idle screw, that makes a lot of difference because your low speed, that's just for what it's doing when it's idling. Uh, not going too fast so the chain's running. You don't want to set it on the ground and have the chain turning. And then the high speed, you don't want to over rev your chainsaw, you can ruin the motor. So it's nice to learn something. Uh, good luck out there adjusting your chainsaws. And he also mentioned in the video you want to make sure you got your chain on adjusted properly. This one is just a little bit looser than I would usually run it so I'm going to tighten that up a hair. You also want to have your air filter in. It uh, affects the idle. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something today like I did.